The next topic of interest is the discriminant. If the discriminant is greater than zero, then there's going to be two real solutions. Now, if the discriminant is equal to zero, then there's going to be only one real solution. Now, if the discriminant is negative, or if it's less than zero, then there's going to be two imaginary solutions. Now, the discriminant formula is b squared minus 4ac for a quadratic equation in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c. So let's work on some examples. Let's say that x squared plus 4x plus 7 is equal to 0. Use the discriminant formula to determine how many solutions there are in this equation. So a is 1, b is 4, and c is 7. So d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. b is 4, a is 1, c is 7. 4 squared is 16, 4 times 7 is 28. 16 minus 28 is negative 12. Negative 12 is less than 0. So because the discriminant is equal to a negative number, there's going to be two imaginary solutions in the equation represented above. Now let's try another example. x squared plus 3x minus 8. Calculate the discriminant. So let's write the formula first. b squared minus 4ac. b is 3, a is 1, c is negative 8. 3 squared is 9, negative 4 times negative 8 is positive 32. And 9 plus 32 is 41. Now because the discriminant is positive, there's going to be two real solutions. Now let's try one more example x squared plus 6x plus 9. Basically a perfect square trinomial. Calculate the discriminant. b is 6. a is the number in front of x squared, that's 1, and c is 9. 6 squared, 6 times 6 is 36. 4 times 9 is 36. So the discriminant is equal to 0, which means that there's only going to be one real solution anytime you have a perfect square trinomial.